What's good, guys? My name is Inferno YT, and today we'll be reacting to the daily life of an immortal king. Let's get it started. What the fuck? Are they flying on a fucking sword right now? What the? Okay, I guess. I guess that works too. Um. All right, let's keep going. Are they getting sent to fucking Sword Art Online right now? What what is happening? Just imagine one day you're just chilling at you're just chilling in your home or in a little farm playing some uh, Fortnite. You just look out the sky and see a black hole appear, and there's look, warning signs all over the buildings. Like what the fuck? But what's this little kid gonna do? Okay, we got the squad. I'll dripped out. Why why is everybody flying on swords? The plane at the beginning was a sword. They're standing on swords. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, she How did that not like obliterate her? I feel like this thing has the power to destroy buildings. It sh that should have just wiped her out. Oh shit. You worry too much about this goddamn child. Okay, now what are you going to do? You don't have your sword anymore. And fucking Gamabunta's cousin is standing right behind you. All because you wanted to save this little kid. All these buildings are destroyed, so many tax dollars just gone. Like, what? Priorities, dude. Are they trying to scam him for protection? I mean, if you're going to try and scam me for money, at least beat the shit out of me. You're offering to protect him for money instead of just beating the shit out of him and be like, give me your goddamn lunch money. That just seems like a bunch of extra work. Pussies. Bro, everybody, everybody is in love with this girl. <laughs> So you turn down their offer, but then just hand your money over to this random girl for doing the thing that they said they were going to do. Okay. That is a grown-ass man. That is not a student at all. Keep him away from the kids, dude. That is a, that is a grown-ass man, not a student by any means. Even the kids think that there's something up with this dude. Oh, he's fucked. Alright, old man, let's see. Let's do it. What the fuck? What the fuck? I thought he was about to square up with this frog. And th this motherfucker decides to run like one of the abnormal titans from uh, AOT. Are you serious? You fucking weak. <laughs> Disqualified. <laughs> Knocking them out. They've got. Alright, Connie, square up! Okay. I see you. Damn! Oh, he's still in this! Let's go! Oh, so he didn't even... He didn't even beat the frog. He just sealed it away, and now they use it to test their students. Okay. That seems like it's gonna pr pose a problem later on. If this big-ass frog is just there. 
Wait, did that frog just say he could hear the background music? And it, this motherfucker's having flashbacks now? What the fuck? Okay. Damn! Who the fuck raised this kid? Bruce Lee? This motherfucker kicks harder than Takamichi! What the fuck? All that over a bag of chips. The bridge didn't have to be destroyed. None of that. All of that could have been saved. But nah, the kid said, fuck you, you on my you on my bag of chips. Hand him over. Okay. Damn. He just off screen the fucking frog. Are you serious? Yeah. If I have fucking superpowers, I'm not sitting here through this class learning about math and science. Teach me how to save the fucking planet. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna be fucking left hook, right hook to all the damn frogs. I don't give a fuck. Fuck the frogs. He's trying to summon- <laughs> Bro, imagine you- you over here trying to summon a dragon and you get a fairy wand. Dude, that's fucked. Connie just can't catch a break. First you lose your mom in an AOT, and now you're- now you're Sailor Moon. But without the stylish outfit. Dude, I'm- you, you can't catch a break. Hey. And you, they even drew you like Krillin with no nose. Right, let's see what you summon. He's gonna summon the goddamn frog, ain't he? Yep. Fucking new. <laughs> oh, so it's still the frog, it is in a dog's body, okay. <laughs> 